Good evening, everyone. It is Friday evening. Uh, we've just done a little live on YouTube, which you'll see on the channel. Uh, we did a little live, little walk along to Las Americas, and we're now back in Los Cristianos. Uh, we're gonna maybe find somewhere for a bite to eat, but we're also gonna try one of the new bars that's opened. So we did wanna try a couple, but at the moment, the, the vault isn't quite ready yet. We're very excited for that one. But we're gonna try this one, which is called YOLO Sports Bar. They've done it out completely. It looks really, really good. They don't serve food, just drinks. But from what I've seen, it's been popular. They even showed the Friends reunion the other day and they were full. So I'm going to go and check them out, have a little drink in there and then maybe have a bite to eat somewhere. We don't know. We're sort of just going with the flow tonight. Yeah, see what happens. Uh, we wanted to show a couple of the new bars, but the vault isn't quite ready yet. But let's go and check out the YOLO sports bar because it has been busy and uh, some fun. see what it's like. So if you're wondering where this one is, this is the HG Tenerife Sair. You've got Christian Sair over there and just across here, you've got a little strip of bars and restaurants here. And that's it there on the end, the YOLO right there. So let's go and uh, take a look, have a drink and see what happens, see where the night takes us. So we're in, I've just ordered a JD Diet Coke. That's for you, Andy Chat. Laura's got an Amaretto Diet Coke on the way. They've done it out very, very nice. It is, like everything is brand new in there. Really clean, yeah. really nice. All the screens, HD, football, everything. I think they've even got a pair of Anthony Joshua's boxing boots in there, signed. I'll show you in a minute. But this is very nice, new, clean, modern. It did need a little lift when they took it over, so done a really good job so far, I think. So, drinks are on the way. So we're just in here in the YOLO sports bar. Now they don't do food, they do drinks and cocktails, but this one here, Bar Island Tenerife, does do food. They've got burgers and lasagnas and things. So we're gonna have a little taster sampler from them. So if you did want food, you can always get food from next door and they will let you eat it in the YOLO sports bar. Also, there is a chippy further down. A few of you may be familiar with it in Los Cristianos. Again, when it opens in July, you'll be able to have your chippy in there. You can bring food from wherever and have your drinks in the sports bar. They don't do food, but this one here is meant to be really, really nice. We are gonna have a little taster from there because I am hungry. But uh, overall, the decor is amazing. He was telling me you've got six TV screens, so you can have six different football matches on at one time all in HD, they've got the brand new HD screens. So they've spent a lot of money on it, they've done a lot of work on it, but it is much, much nicer. Me and Laura never really used to come down here much, but I think we will now, that is a nice bar. They've done it really, really nice. And when the Premier League's on, you can have six different games on six different screens, HD, and enjoy the football. It's a, it's a nice vibe in there to have, but I'm looking forward to trying this food. I've had a couple of drinks, so I do need a bit of food as well. So I have just got a little sampler from next door and um, they did provide me with a little sampler to try a few different things. We've got lasagna, a bit of a burger, a bit of a chicken, um, like a chicken goujon to try. That does look really good to be fair, as you can see from the image. So I'm going to have a bite to eat and I'll let you know what I think. It does look very good, very clean and I like the, the uh, slate plate. There you go. It does look very good. So 
So I've got to say, that little snack that we had, the little burger, the lasagna, I'm not normally a big lasagna fan, but that was nice. And the chicken tender, very good. For a little snack in the bar from next door, very nice, I'd have that again. The chicken tenders I'd have with, a, with some chips or something, definitely. But it is nice, you can have a nice little snack like that, just from next door, even though they don't do food here. And I would maybe recommend trying him as a restaurant. We probably might go back one day and try it just as a restaurant on its own. That was just a little bar snack, but very, very nice. Uh, I did enjoy that, I needed that. It was um, definitely filled the hole. Really good quality food as well, not frozen. The bread was homemade, the lasagna's homemade, so it's not just frozen stuff. Proper little restaurant food, but in the bar, which is great. I like that. So we're pretty happy just chilling here, we're just having a couple of JD Cokes. So this is a new restaurant that only opened a few weeks ago. New bar, so it is two new places that we've tried for you. Definitely recommend the bar, definitely recommend the food from there as well. We will be back. I will bring my mum and dad here when they are over as well, uh, which isn't too long now. Uh, I think they will enjoy it in here. Clean, comfy chairs, comfy seats, nice staff. Um, so yeah, I think we we'll definitely come back here. And the food in there was lovely. Laura's just found out they do a bit of gluten-free bread and stuff in there. So we will come back and try the restaurant in a separate vlog, maybe. And Laura can try the gluten-free. So, but yeah, I don't think we're going to be moving much from here, I don't think. So it is now the next day. A little bit hungover, mm -hmm. just a smidge. Now you know it was a good night. Uh, we actually stayed until 12 until they closed. Uh, got chatting with the owners and stuff. Really lovely couple. Uh, it was really good fun night in there. Enjoyed it? Yeah. Good. I'll go back, yeah. It's uh, going to be a good place. Another little place you can watch the Euros. As I said, they've got six screens. The owner did say if you want any particular sport, golf, dart, boxing, whatever, um, you can ask them and they'll always put it on for you. But it's going to be a good spot to one of the good bars to watch the Euros in that one for sure. And it's it's brought up the, the standard a little bit of the bars in that area, so yeah, it can only be good, I think. Hopefully uh, do the bars will bring up their standards as well. Yeah, it'd be good. So it's exciting in Los Chris. We've got quite a few new things opening. We've got a Mexican, uh, we've got the other bar opening as well. So I will be showing you them all, but definitely put that one on your list. Um, go and give them a follow on Instagram, Facebook, give them a little like, a bit of support. And we will definitely be doing the others as well. So if you did enjoy it, hit the subscribe, hit the thumbs up, drop your comments, let me know what you thought. Personally, I liked all the memorabilia that was around, the signatures and stuff just adds a bit of interest. Uh, he did say he's got more sort of football boots and stuff to bring down and put up as well. So I like stuff like that. I'm into all that. I didn't even notice. There you go. I think Laura's probably too drunk. <laughs> so um, thanks very much for watching and uh, YOLO. There you go. <laughs>